Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. Guess what I'm actually teaching today, and what I'm teaching is lean manufacturing, agile thinking, and Toyota production system. As you know, that's what I do full time in my sort of a boutique consulting firm I have. So it's a really busy week this week. It's an advanced class, kind of like an MBA level. So let's take a look in the class and see what's happening. We're playing some simulation games right now to talk about how strategy works with lean thinking or Toyota production system. So follow me and I'll show you what's going on. We have people from all around the world flying in, people from Europe, from US, uh, even from Australia. So come and join me. So right now my class is very busy going through a very interesting assignment, which is called the plate game simulation, where they have to figure out how to align things together so they can uh, learn how to see things from a different perspective. As you guys know, I have a pretty busy life as a YouTuber, but I work full time as a management consultant or as an engineer, focusing on what we call Kaizen technique, which is basically a problem solving technique that's used by companies worldwide, including Toyota in their Toyota production system. So for example, when there's a problem within the factory or problem with the supplier or even during the product development, well, I'm the person that has to go and actually solve these issues. So I'm kind of like the SWAT team leader, if you will. Uh, so problem comes up, call David, and he'll come and solve the problem. And so that's what I used to do for many years, and now I teach the technique, the Kaizen technique or problem solving technique to company worldwide. And uh, so that is what I actually do behind the scene. So when I talk about problem solving in my YouTube channel, I'm actually talking as a practitioner who is uh, teaching and implementing Kaizen technique or Toyota production system. So hopefully I'm able to continue sharing interesting insight with you guys but for this week, I am super busy teaching Kaizen Technique right now in our advanced course called the Black Belt. So they're very busy learning that stuff today and tomorrow. And we're actually going to another company on uh, Wednesday to Friday to apply the technique so they can all begin to appreciate the depth and the insight of what Kaizen stands for and apply to their own company so they can become a practitioner of lean thinking Agile thinking or Toyota production specialist. So let's see how this class will continue to evolve. So far, I'm really enjoying teaching it. I designed this program 20 years ago and I'm still teaching uh, this course throughout the world and uh, it keeps me busy, but I love sharing my knowledge and insight. Uh, so you know what? There's a lot more to go this week and I'll continue to share with you what's happening with lean thinking, Toyota production system and everything to do with Kaizen. I've also worked with and continue to work with some of the authors of the Toyota Way books, including uh, Michael Zayas, as well as Dr. Jeffrey Liker, who's pioneered the books about Toyota Way and Toyota Production System. So it's always uh, fun and very engaging to work with these uh, like-minded folks. And that's also part of the training that we offer. So exactly what is Kaizen? Well, Kaizen, it's a problem-solving technique pioneered by Toyota many years ago, and it really centers on a couple of key things. One is, you have to know exactly where you want to go in terms of what we call target conditions. So what is your vision in terms of the future targets? And the second thing is you have to be honest and transparent about where you are today. So the difference between the target condition and where you are today is called a gap. And that gap determines how to solve something. A lot of organizations struggle with the whole idea of problem solving because they cannot see the gap or describe the gap properly. A company like Toyota is able to do this so well because the whole idea of problem solving or doing a Kaizen is very much embedded in their culture, in their DNA, and in their thinking style. In fact, every Toyota employee goes through some extensive training in terms of how to solve something and how to improve something. So that's very much part of their philosophy. By the way, what's so fascinating about uh, lean manufacturing black belt class I'm teaching is that every single one of them gets to go to Japan as part of the Japan manufacturing tour. I, I take every single one of them to Japan. I've taken more than 700 people there and we visit factories, we visit uh, museums and all kinds of interesting places that give you and provide you with insight 
about how they think and how they work in Japan. It also includes interviews and discussion time with former managers of Toyota, Honda, and Nissan, who provide us with a very interesting life stories as to how they became manufacturing or product development engineer or a problem solver. Well, Ted, I know you're very busy right now taking the black belt class about lean manufacturing, agile thinking, Toyota production system. What's the black belt class like so far? Yeah, so, so far we're doing some networking, I'm meeting other like-minded people. Uh, that's been really gratifying. We were together for a team function last evening and uh, early on I'm already feeling like a little bit of community is happening and I'm looking forward to the journey we're going to go on uh, to get our black belts. Am I doing okay as an instructor for you, Ted? Yeah, I'm really enjoying the way you're actually referencing personal experiences. And that resonates with me. And you're using some examples. And uh, that's the way that I need to learn. And so that's going well for me, David, for sure. Excellent. Moving forward, what do you look forward to in terms of uh, learning about all these different techniques to improve business? Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to uh, make sure that we're on a good pathway to operational excellence at Cal Tire. And that, uh, you know, we're, we're strategizing and we're, we're learning to go to the, where the work is done. We're learning to, to have everyone on the, you know, the team together, rowing the boat all together on this journey. So I know you are very curious about how Toyota solves problems but that has a direct implication to what happens to the products we buy. So in the future videos, I'm gonna talk about these techniques a little bit more in detail. But for now, the main thing to keep in mind is that the Kaizen mentality or problem solving mentality basically is embedded in the NDA of Toyota. And that's what they really focus on. So rest assured that as problems come up, they get resolved quickly and on an ongoing basis to the point where hopefully these products become almost flawless and almost perfect. So I've got to go back there and start to teach again. So I'm gonna sign off for now. If you have questions about Kaizen technique or how car companies solve issues within manufacturing or also during product development, let me know in the comments below what you want to learn because I have a lot to share with you. Um, but for now, I gotta go back and teach. So I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.